Hi, I'm Reverend Susan Hendershot, the president of Interfaith Power and Light, and I'm here with my colleagues John Hill from the United Methodist Church and Ruth Ivory Moore from the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. Um, we're here at COP25 in Madrid um, representing uh, faith communities from all over the United States, and we wanted to just share with you a little bit about why it's so important for faith communities to be represented here, and especially what's happening with um, the U.S delegation uh, here in Madrid. So John, would you like to start it off? Sure. I think one of the challenges when we talk about the UNFCCC, the Framework Convention on Climate Change and these COPs is that they seem very disconnected from things that we normally engage with. And so I think it's really important for us to keep focused on the fact that when countries come to these international conversations, they can only commit internationally what they can deliver domestically. And so while, yes, this is an international conversation about ramping up action on finance, on mitigation, addressing the, the real climate emergency that's happening, we have to make sure that those of us then go back to the United States and do strong advocacy for action domestically um, to ramp up finance, to take to take down our emissions um, and to address loss and damage. Uh, we just had a meeting with 15 members of Congress, which was really powerful, including Speaker Pelosi. Uh, and what we heard from her and from all the members to a person was that we as the U.S. faith community uh, need to do more in their districts uh, to sort of encourage our folks to speak up, speak out, and demand action. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And picking up a point, this is Ruth Ivory Moore from Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. And picking up with what John said and what Susan said, being here at the COP is so critical to our ministry. Uh, we want to make sure that our folks understand that dealing with the environment, addressing climate change, is not a separate ministry, but it's a, it's a ministry of the church. It's a ministry that which we have all of our life been affected by, involved in, and continue to work. We understand that climate change is probably, we're facing an emergency, but there is hope. We have the will, we have the ability to address from climate finance, um, working with other partners here in, the, uh, in this global environment and also across the world. We can work with people and we can solve this issue. Now, we need to understand that climate change impacts every five of our lives, which is important that we connect the international with the domestic. From food hunger to migration to health issues to national security, there's not one aspect of our lives that we cannot find that climate change does not impact. And most of all, it impacts the most vulnerable, the marginalized, most severely. And it impacts also those developing countries. So we in the U.S., we have to address climate change within our borders, whether we're dealing with a farmer in North Dakota or the person who's living in the inner city or that person who's living in suburbia. We are all impacted. And we need to make sure that we leave uh, earth here that's for our generations, for our kids and our kids' kids. If we don't address climate change now, this will not be the case. But with that said, there is hope. We do have time. We don't have a lot of time, but we need to make sure that we start to take action now. Yeah, thank you, John and Ruth. Um, we definitely have a moral opportunity here as people of faith to take action. And as John said, you know, to a person, uh, the U.S. delegation said they want to hear from their um, members, their constituents from back home, and especially the faith voice and how impactful that is in reaching across um, in a bipartisan way across the aisle so that everyone can be included in this conversation. Um, so we're here. Uh, uh, we think we're on the winning team, and we're gonna we're gonna keep moving forward, um, and we're excited to involve all of you in this work.